Yeah, that's right. Hello, welcome to the Game Society Pimps podcast. I'm Aaron. I'm here with Emery, Hi. Jason. Hi. I'm Adam. Adam, also known as Resting Bitch Face. <laughs> uh, you fucking <laughs> we, dick. We, uh, we've been at PAX now for a while. We're, it's the evening. We've, had, we've got beer from Canada. Uh, our buddy Sean Henry from Canada brought us beer. I'm drinking Swan's Ri- Riley's Scotch Ale. 8%. I'm, I'm drinking a, a creepy Uncle Dunkel. That you, dude on you, the bottle looks so much like yeah, you. Yeah, I did not notice it until you now. You are creepy Uncle Dunkel. <laughs> dude, his beard is identical. You. Yeah, he, he gave it to me supposedly because I look like this guy. Oh, not you even, you even wear hats like if that. If you took man. the hat off the guy on the label, he would have the same, like, you know, the, Nazi the weird Hitler haircut. Youth haircut dude, you're rocking. it's not a Nazi haircut. <laughs> That's, it is a Hitler Youth haircut. That's ignorant. Ignorant. Google oh, ignorant. <laughs> Google <laughs> Hitler Youth, and you'll see that hair. Um, so anyway, we're we're having a good time, and thanks for joining us. Um, so of course, we always start out with the podcast uh, with a death because it's great to start on an up note. <laughs> hmm. uh, and so I'm going to throw it over to, to Jason, who um, unfortunately no nobody famous died. Well, that's not entirely true. In a few hours since the last podcast, right? <laughs> uh, well, we want to say uh, may you rest in peace, James Earl Jones. Uh, the world lost a great actor, according to a lot of Facebook posts I've seen, which were completely inaccurate. Now, this, this happens uh, about every six months. You see a celebrity pop up in your feed that they, your friends think is dead because a website uh, that's irreputable told them so. And uh, the same thing just happened to James Earl Jones. Uh, my sister-in-law posted it. That's where I saw it first. And so it was with some glee that I that I linked the Snopes article in her comments. Um, but he's not dead. He's 84, very much alive, very much still working, and with the Star Wars films in production, presumably getting some additional work. Who knows? For those of you who are watching this podcast that don't know who James Earl Jones is... Stop you're not watching, watching this podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's another like weird phenomenon to that whole death thing. Like, there's also sometimes a person will actually die, and then the story of them their death doesn't go viral till like five years later. Like uh, one of the Golden Girls yeah, died in like was, 2010. Um, B. Arthur? And, no, not believe, B. Arthur. No. Um, it was uh, Ruth McClanahan. Yeah, that Ruth, one. Ruth, Ruth, yeah. Uh, she died in like 2010, and then like her and whole suddenly death went was viral trending. like six months ago. And yeah. everybody's like, she's dead. It no. trends. It, that one trends about every year. Oh, so she gets the benefit of that every year being back in the news for dying. That's like a weird, like almost Tupac like thing, but for Yeah, it is. But, but for, for um, older older celebrities older celebrity who died on well, natural causes. What, it's been a good what weekend. did uh, what did Morgan Freeman think about this whole thing with James Earl? I Jones? said, first of all, I said, I can't believe James Earl Jones died. I just had breakfast with him today. <laughs> now, of course, uh, James Earl Jones always orders two buckwheat pancakes and a side of turkey bacon. And I always order two eggs over easy and uh, a Jimmy Dean pork sausage patty. And uh, so we had breakfast and I, I, I bid him a fond farewell. And, and, I was, and then you immediately posted on Facebook that he was dead. I said, <laughs> I said I, as he left the restaurant, I said, James Earl Jones is dead. <laughs> And I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to uh, some games that we played today here at PAX. Uh, I think the first one we played was uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah. Which uh, was really fun. Yeah. Um, we, we played it on hard, and we played a game mode where you have to go in and uh, defuse two bombs. And we were all working as a crew. And we sucked. Oh, well... To be fair, initially it was just Jason, Emery, me, and then two random people. And we went in and just started playing. A minute into it, one of those two people just killed us with a bomb on our own side. Yeah. So we were like, okay. And then only Jason survived. I, w- I survived because I had run uh, up to the wall and I had, I had climbed the wall and uh, I was hiding on the roof. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't immediately find, I couldn't find a way down off the roof immediately. <laughs> uh, and then when I did find a way down off the roof and I made my way in the building, I, sh- I shot a man. Uh, and, and then I was told by the rest of my team that I was the only surviving member of the team. <laughs> and, and I didn't know how to win from there. Uh, Dude, your gameplay was hilarious because like, a guy would come in and you were just like, 
<laughs> yeah. And somehow you kept hitting them in the head. I well, I you was aiming winning. for their head, Adam. <laughs> no, you were not. I was I, we too. Have, we have. The How footage. did I hit them in the head if we I wasn't the aiming? Footage. I then watched the footage. I, I did. Will I do some slow mo replays. Did I the not? The kickback is yeah. what hit them in the did, head. Did I not hit them in the head? I, I'm not denying that. I'm simply. Stating I'm telling you, I on. I aimed for their head. Mm. Anyways. I happened to throw a lot of other bullets at them. the ceiling, too. <laughs> uh, but I came very close to... Uh, I, I did not disgrace myself. No. I, I didn't say you did. I, I you actually a, did the best on the you team. You did the best. Yeah. Yeah. I had a different, I had a different ex- by our own team. I had a different yeah. experience because I was with a group of people I didn't know. And um, so we all ran up to a building, <laughs> and he was like, okay, rappel up to the roof. We're going to go in through, you know, the, the, the roof. And I was like, oh, yeah, repel. Okay. And then, like, I did, everyone repelled up to the roof, and I, I, I couldn't figure out how the hell to do it. I was just like, what? I was watching them all climb up, and then they all went over, and they went in the building, and I was just like, but, but guys. And the, and the other guy was just like, oh, yeah, well, somebody's not with us, but, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to go down and, you know, like, try to defuse the bombs now. And I was just like, how the fuck do you do this? <laughs> Like I just couldn't figure it out. I had to actually get up close to the wall and then press. The Is button. it called repelling when you go up it? Apparently, because it says it, when you walk up to it, press A to repel. Should it? Yeah. Shouldn't it be upelling? No. I'm going to upel the wall and I'm going to repel the wall. That seems right. I've never Ask heard the that British before. Dude. Okay. They, they the language. What, what yeah, are they? What are they, English major? what are they say in Canada? We have some Canadians yes, in our we audience. Do. Do, do they say repel? They okay. say they say they say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go apologize to the wall. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to climb you now, eh? So Aaron, Aaron, yeah. you did finally repel and the I wall. Jo- yeah, I did finally, and I joined everybody, and it was a good time. I had a sledgehammer. I uh, knocked through some walls, helped get rid of some barbed wire. Yeah. And was a very productive team member after that. Now, eventually, we all joined forces again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, by that time, we'd all had a little bit of practice. And then we communicated, and he knew how to repel. We all repelled up. Yep. And then we all repelled down. It did, like, the upside down, like... Uh, the Spider-Man sh- thing. Spider-Man yeah. thing. And uh, we got Oh, in. yeah, we are all upside down. That was awesome. Yeah. Yep. And we just cleared the place out, and nobody died until the very end. The Aaron died. Aaron got yeah. shot. Yeah. Like, he died while it said victory. Yeah. Like, it's, it's kind of impressive. It's yeah, a victory, really but dot, dot, dot. But I was just bleeding, though. I wasn't really dead. No, no, you were dead. I wasn't gonna quite you dead. dead. I wasn't quite help. dead. We had already headed to TGI Fridays for our celebration <laughs> beers. We're like, where's Aaron? And I it was, don't know. It was just like the repelling scene all over again. You're I'm like, like bleeding out. And be like, yes, we <laughs> we turned the lights off. Aaron's moaning. We turn the lights off in the room while we leave. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, Rainbow Six Siege, really, really fun. Uh, I can't wait to play when it actually Aaron, plays. how did you like uh, playing Mad Max? <laughs> oh, it was great. The two times that I stood in line for Mad Max for an hour were amazing. <laughs> and then when I had to go somewhere else and couldn't play the game, it was amazing. That was a good game. It was a really good game. I saw the preview game. about 50 times, and I can't wait to actually play it. So <laughs> the, really looking forward to it. Third time's a charm, man. We, I thought we were really close because, you know, there's, there's lines for all of, the, all of the, the new games. And so you get in line for a game. And uh, you kind of work around a corner, and then, and then they say, okay, come on over here. And then you think, oh, come on over here and play the game. No, come on over here. There's another line, a smaller <laughs> queue here that we want you to stand It goes in. around another sort of corner, and then get, you go like this way, and then eventually you're going to play the game. And there's like 12 people in front of you, but the wait time is still long enough so that whatever we're about to do an hour from now, we won't get to do if we play the game. So you have to bail out of the line. Makes the people behind you really happy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> really. But. Um, we didn't get a chance to play that yet, sadly, but we did play a game called For Honor. Yes. Yep. Uh, which mainly Emery was playing. Yeah, we uh, we kind of agreed as a group we could only have one person doing the recording, and and Emery was the most like petulant about it. Yeah, I cried. Was just like I, threw a I really want to really play. Did. If I don't get to play this, I'm never gonna c- come here again. And like he was very <laughs> dramatic about it. So we're like, okay, I guess baby gets to play. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm glad. I'm glad because that game rocked. Uh, basically, what it is is it's a. Uh, it's, uh, you play as like a knight or a viking or a samurai, just like a badass dude with armor and a sword. And you're with three other people, 
And it's uh, the version, the game mode that we played was kind of like um, Domination in Call of Duty, where there's like three different points that you have to kind of hold and kill people. And and it's it's kind of like uh, like a Call of Duty type of thing, except you're knights. And it's well, really and there's cool. also like f like a hundred different knights and siege warfare going on at the same time. Yeah, it's like a whole battle. So it's a little bit more yeah. intense. Yeah. And uh, what I liked about it were that the controls at this point, the controls seem very simple. You've got a heavy attack and a light attack and some other options. And as you uh, build uh, build up after you've you know, taken care of more and more opponents, then you're able to do more things. You're able to you have special abilities. Yeah. But I love the simplicity of it. Yeah, it's so simple, but it's also so difficult. Like, yeah. maybe we're just bad at it. I don't know. But you can block up, block left. When Emery says we, right. he means him. He means him. <laughs> Okay, I was playing against like four developers of the game, and they kicked my ass like all the time. Yes, to to but be fair, to be fair, during one of the games, one of the developers said, "Can the other developer tone it down a bit?" Because he's <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that guy was like undefeatable. Yeah, he's. I believe his exact words. He's French Canadian, but I believe his exact words were something, 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 steamrolling, something, something. something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, he met uh, me on the battlefield once, and he had, like, a sliver of health left, and I had full health, and I was like, I got this. No. no. <laughs> he destroyed me. Uh, I think Christopher Walken was there. and I think, Yeah. Uh, what was your impression of the game, Chris? Look, I've been in a lot of films. A lot of people ask me questions about my career as an actor, and I've never played a samurai before. <laughs> I think it'd be a lot of fun. I've never been a knight or a Viking. Maybe I'm past my prime for such roles. Maybe I could play a knight's grandfather or a samurai's uncle. That would be nice. Didn't you just play a pirate, though? Arg. Yeah, Captain Hook. So you're not that's, too old. But that's Peter Pan. It's different. It's magical. <laughs> I enjoyed I enjoyed the game for honor. I thought Emery did a fine job dying Thank efficiently. You, <laughs> it was fun watching him take your head off with a sword. So many different ways to die. <laughs> I got to see all of them. <laughs> you were really good at that, Emery. Admittedly. My favorite was when they, they would grab the blade of the sword with one hand and then hit you between the neck and shoulder, like just above the hilt. Can you kind of imagine like you're chopping a chunk of wood with the backward sword? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty nice. It was really cool, the, the stuff they did with those swords. Like you wouldn't think of it. Like right. swinging a sword around like a, a, a gigantic great sword, like by the blade. And it's like, wow, that's pretty neat. And you are always on the receiving exactly. end. Exactly. <laughs> I was just standing there. Just as much in awe as we were. So <laughs> was Aaron actually better than you? No. I didn't no. think so. Well, he's not to, usually. Uh, we don't have footage of me, but no. <laughs> he, he did get to play a little bit. Um, and uh, he was replacing somebody who was late, but then that person eventually showed up and then they had to kick you off, right? Yeah. Well, you'll get to yeah. practice more tomorrow. Yeah, I'll get to practice more tomorrow. Um, we saw a celebrity today. <laughs> who wants to field this one? Oh, I, well, I think the guy who saw yeah. the celebrity. Yeah, probably me since I was the only one who saw him. All right. Um, okay, so I'm standing out in like the main atrium area, and then a bunch of like the PAX crew come around. They're like, all right, everybody just clear. Everybody move out of the way. And we thought like, okay, they're just, I don't know what they're doing. They're just clearing people out. And out of, out of nowhere, Billy D. Williams just walks out, and he walks right past me, and I just like, oh, shit. And I took a photo as quickly as I could, and he just walked past. He's not waving anybody. He's not looking at anybody. It's just, there's like, he's got like an entourage protecting him. And I was like, I did not expect to see Billy D. Williams here. That How many it. of them were stormtroopers? None. <laughs> None? It was just people with the blue pack shirt. That's why you didn't really think of it. At any point, were you tempted to tackle him? Man, he's a king. <laughs> no, to but they, but they weren't. Pre you were like within his I, it's, sphere. It is weird though because they were specifically like clearing everyone out of the area I was in. But they but left. They, they left me. They, they were like, nobody you're so unremarkable. No, <laughs> no, we're yeah, not just, even concerned I'm about you. It's fine. Yeah, because it meant I got to be like this close to Billy D. Williams. He just walked right past me. You could have tackled. Him. I could have. <laughs> I it could have definitely tackled a an crippled man for no reason. I could have done that. I did not. Sorry. He would have killed you. <laughs> he probably would have. He had that cane is for his. That and he had an entourage. I can't depend on you guys. 
You wouldn't have shown up and helped me. No. We would have laughed as he. Yeah, I'm sure he would have. As he destroyed you. There, there's, there's a lot of flaws in this plan. That's all I'm saying. I don't know why are you so obsessed with tackling Billy Dee Williams. Yeah, what is with I that? Did know. he do something to you? Fun to tackle you really, people. Yeah, like, what happened with like Empire Strikes Back? What What happened with that? Because you've been close to Billy D. Williams too. Yeah, I was. I was in the Chad Vader suit and I took a picture with Billy. Why D. didn't he you was the him? nicest person ever? Why didn't you so tackle him? Why do you him? want to tackle <laughs> him? <laughs> I, just, I didn't. Uh, at that time, I didn't realize how great it would be to tackle Billy D. Williams, especially but dressed as Chad Vader. <laughs> reflect. I'm just like it would be really fun to tackle. You Billy You could D. have Williams. been on the front page of CNN.com or any like yes. all the major news. Because the major news sites, they'll cover anything like that. Any, any, when any celebrity gets Darth tackled. Darth Vader tackles <laughs> Billy D. Will, Lando Calrissian down. Like, the, like they would have put the story on the front page just so that they could write a funny headline. Even the quote would have been like, this deal's getting worse all the time. Like, yeah. That would have been the highlight of Darth Vader. Man. Is there any other Star Wars cast members you want to wound? Uh, I mean, not real ones. I mean, obviously, I want Jar Jar Binks to well, he's, die. He's a but character. Obviously. So you don't like Ahmed Best? That's what you're saying. Here. I don't care about Ahmed Best. I only don't like the character of Jar Jar Binks. Okay. What, what, what about Warwick Davis? The lovable Ewok. From Willow? Well, from Willow, and he was also Wicket, right? I wouldn't want to tackle him. Well, no, of course not. He's already not. really close to the ground. Well, what does that mean? So it wouldn't hurt as much? Is it mean so to tackle a guy with a cane? Yeah, it's kind of mean. So what is the criteria for, for you wanting to do Star Wars franchise cast members harm? The taller they are. I the... honestly haven't thought it through, it, you guys. It's is it just because kinda... Chad Vader screwed up your life or something? No, like... it was just kind of an instinct thing. I don't know. Was it, cause, it was because he sold... Han Solo up it's, the river. It's from just, all those. Yes, years. It, that's why. Dude, yeah. it's from. Where, it's all those years of wearing that Vader suit. It's made you a dick. <laughs> no, I was a dick before that. Yeah, but not. You weren't specifically targeting Star Wars cast members before, though. Well, I yeah. I, I mean, I haven't started. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that wasn't the only celebrity that we saw. Oh, wasn't it? That was the. It was, it was the, the the most famous celebrity that we saw. That's for all sure. right, all right. Who else did we see? Uh, we saw uh, the guy from Epic Meal Time. Oh yeah, oh, yeah Harley. Two personalities, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Met uh, zombie unicorn just tonight. Mm -hmm. oh, she's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um. PewDiePie. <laughs> I didn't see PewDiePie. Yeah, who's, who saw PewDiePie? I didn't. You guys He's saw here? PewDiePie. You guys here? Wow. What? Are you sure he doesn't oh, have a, no. an impersonator like Justin Bieber? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, rest in peace to Justin Bieber's impersonator, but... We covered they, that last podcast. I know, that's why I'm... <laughs> so sad. We, ga we gave him a lot of time. Too late. Yeah. We gave him more time than anyone had given him <laughs> in a long time. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. Wow, well, I guess it sucks we missed PewDiePie. How did that happen? Aaron? I didn't know he was here. Nobody he did. didn't call he you. Didn't he didn't email me. <laughs> what, he didn't hook you up? He was like, I got to email that guy that wants to tackle Billy D. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I really I like he tackles him. me. <laughs> Dude, you could make a YouTube channel that's just that. You dressed in a Darth Vader suit tackling celebrities. <laughs> that would. Assuming you get away, that'd be a good plan yeah. because they'd, they'd always be like, I don't know who this asshole is who's dressed up like Vader and keeps running away. <laughs> I can't find you. He just tackles people and runs. It's so weird. <laughs> you know the sad part is that video would get so many views. Oh god! Yes. All, Every single one, ever. ten million views. Yeah. It's three seconds long. Until you're put in jail. Yeah, because <laughs> also because it's a video with ten million views, court <laughs> and yeah, evidence true. and your honor. The video is it's uh it's it's not to be believed. <laughs> There's cars outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're loud. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Seattle. Seattle is an amazing pl place, and it, it is delivering on the rain right now. So, yeah, so you know, as that. as advertised, yeah. Well, um, I think we've come to basically the end of another podcast. Unless anybody else has got something, we could give away some Rainbow Six. Yes. Time. Oh, we do have some. Uh, yeah, we do have some Rainbow Six. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege beta codes. We were beta codes. Like a stack of them. My idea is that you leave a comment on why you deserve one of these codes, and, and then. He'll go through the comments. Yeah, I'll do all the work. Um, and decide uh, which of you merit this code. Yeah, give me a reason. And then we'll contact you. Things like you promise you won't tackle me or whatever. 
whatever. That's not a good reason. So is it going to be like the funnier, the funnier the reason? Yeah, or we'll come up better? with the criteria. Like so how I, we feel. So. Like the funniest things to me are comments that are anti Aaron. So put those out there and you're good. Great. Code. Now I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. Uh, yeah. Just put us. Just say why you would, and it doesn't have to maybe be President, dissing any of us. Maybe President Obama can give us a good example. Yeah, of President why Okay, yes. so the kind of comment that we're looking for that will uh, get you a uh, Rainbow Six Siege beta code, and you know, that's all you need for the game, to play that game. Uh, <laughs> the kind of comment will be a complimentary comment about uh, Jason, their, their esteemed voice guy. Very good dude. Uh, and also any insults for the other three guys. <laughs> so any combination of those things will be fine. Thank you. <laughs> and God bless. Thanks for joining us. And We've uh, been the Game Society Pimps. I also want to say thank you to Machinima for arranging oh, yes. us. Uh, thank you, Machinima. Thank you, Machinima, Machinima for having us and being very great, very gracious guests. They gave me this hoodie last year. Awesome. <laughs> I was the only one who brought it. It's the only thing you ever wear. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good hoodie. <laughs> it is a good hoodie. I admit that. Yeah. Like, I bought hoodies that were way worse. This is awesome. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye.